I'm trying to make the kids more aware of where they're at. So we talk a lot about that self-advocacy and having them identify if they've mastered a concept or where they need help. Um, so sort of a baseline, can you do the problem? Can you do the mathematics? Can you solve the problem? But then that mastery piece comes in when you can really apply it outside of that one box that you're in. So we work a lot with word problems. We work a lot with um, applying it to the school or applying it to the community. Um, and that's really conferencing based. So we sit down and we talk with the kids. Here's your entrance ticket. Tell me what you did here and why you think you should be going to seminar. Or tell me why you think you've mastered this concept. And really getting them to understand and explain why they think they're in those certain groupings. So um, data definitely is a tool that we use to drive instruction. Um, we take an NWEA test three times a year, and so that's one way that we'll group our students. And um, on a day-to-day -day level, we use Lexia, ST Math, um, and NWEA has a program where we can have our, our students take a, a skills locator, which will break down individually where they're struggling and then we'll kind of group our students that way and um, provide small group instruction. And then the cool thing about that is that site provides mastery checks so we can see who's gaining the knowledge that they need and then kind of readjusting our groups that way as well. In addition to that, we use a lot of formative assessments to also group students based on skill and ability. Um, just within a particular lesson, a formative assessment will be given. Like an exit ticket. A formative assessment will be given. And then as a team, through four and five, we kind of align the students based on the skills that they need um, rather than based on grade level. Um, we usually meet pretty much every day. We are always collaborating with each other, with the other first grade teacher as well. Um, we have time throughout the day, um, right in the middle of our day, to have to collaborate and just kind of talk about their strengths, their weaknesses, and to look at more data based on the specific skill we're focusing on. And then we usually spend like three to three weeks maybe in that strand, and then we'll meet again to kind of rearrange the groups and see where we can, you know, if students need to be pushed up a little and then they meet, you know, so we have that opportunity to meet and just make those changes.